Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Let's check out what's involved for the garage enthusiast to change the turbo, downpipe, and midpipe on this GLA 45 behind me. The day this vehicle arrived, I knew what had to be done. This GLA 45 AMG hot hatch comes with a 2 liter M133 engine that has a Borg Warner twin scroll turbo begging for an upgrade. This is the drop in turbo from AMS Performance. This Garrett upgrade has a larger 58mm trim, ceramic bolt bearings, and will support the 600 plus horsepower with the other modifications. One of those supporting upgrades is the exhaust. Armatrix ceramic coated 200 cell downpipe and midpipe should do the trick. Please check out my other videos and let's begin. Just wanted to quickly show you, uh, you have to disconnect this uh, fan electrical connector by feel. Uh, it's plugged uh, facing towards you upwards. There's two side clips you want to pinch with your hands and just push the plug down to release it. Then you have the fir tree connector as the next one and then the rest are these little metal clips. The rad is a little fun with all these clips in the way. Little trick though. If you see there, uh, you can shift the fan to the driver's side just a hair, and there's just enough clearance to skim that tab past the coolant uh, hose and clip. So it should be able to come out now. Use cardboard to prevent any damage to the radiator. Next is the hanger. Remove two E12 bolts. Then we'll go ahead and disconnect the post O2 sensor on that side and then disconnect the mid pipe from the exhaust.
Right, got the mid pipe out. Comes out a certain way, you gotta twist it kind of towards the passenger side and it'll come out. We'll grab the T25. And we want to um Go. And you can see it's connected to the engine block. If you want one of the harnesses, to unclip it or 22 mil, take the sensor out. So, yeah, it gives you an idea where everything is. So it's easy to disconnect, just press and pull. See, I dropped it further. It does make some gouging, but I did check that uh, wasn't making it past uh, the first first sheet. Um, but it did not go through the first piece of cardboard. I had a second piece just in case, and. Uh, Next step is to drain the coolant by removing the hose that is connected to the auxiliary pump in front of the transmission. And while we're down here, I'll show you the next few items is the oil drain and the oil pressure connected to the block. Now one item I like to do is label all the electrical connections. Holy smokes, the thing fell apart on me when I was taking it out, but that's all right. I show you how to put it back together uh, as we install it on the new turbo. Go ahead and remove this coolant line 
and we're going to go ahead and cut this uh, in our new MB600 turbo kit. We're provided with new uh, worm type clamps. is loose should be able to just pull this guy up and there we have it we do a quick inspection of course this vehicle has very low miles the gasket looks and good. And here's the unit uh, out. And here's the new unit uh, that we're bringing in. This is the GTX 3071R Gen 2. The original BOG3 Borg Warner. Here's the kit from AMS. And here's their upgraded uh, PTFE lines. For swapping parts, confirm the inlet fitting alignment and clocking of the compressor outlet to the intercooler. Place the new turbo uh, on, we'll do a dry fit run. And we're off just a little bit, so we'll have to loosen these uh, center bolts and uh, clock the housing. We're going to go ahead and mark up these bolts, uh, these four 10 millimeters and six 12 millimeters. So, first we check. Oil is vertical or just slightly towards the back of the vehicle. So I don't think we need to clock the turbine at all. Just the compressor housing. So I've loosened the four. I've kept these ones tight. And now we can go ahead and, and um, move this so it's more in line with the, the intercooler. Um, we might, I'm hoping, that the new intercooler um, has the same orientation as replacing this so that I don't have to adjust this any further. Uh, it's hard to know uh, without having the actual aftermarket intercooler. Let's go on the basis that um, you are not changing the intercooler but just the, doing the turbo upgrade. That looks perfect right there. 
we'll go ahead and tighten these uh, these four bolts back up and uh, we'll be back on the bench to swap all the turbo items go ahead and grab our blow off valve bag that we prepared when we were uninstalling gasket blow off valve electronic uh, these came standard and then later years uh, this one is 2017 so it does have this uh, older ones would have a block off plate um, those people would probably have to buy an aftermarket um, or I could buy an aftermarket here to release into the atmosphere instead of it returning back into the uh, intake side of the uh, compressor housing um, these do come apart if you want to see what this looks like inside we do have a spring we do have the shaft and the gasket that does fit together like so that's the action uh, we would get we'll add the seal there we go there's only one way this can go on we have our number five Allen key, three bolts. Um, we're going to use just a little bit of thread locker. And we're also going to grab the torque wrench. These ones are at 13 foot pounds. Not going to use red. Just going to dab on a little bit. So next step here is we're going to remove the wastegate. We're going to take the locking tab out. We're going to remove the lower bolt. We're going to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. And then we're going to do, going to do some preload measurements uh, using my caliper um, to be able to bring it to the new turbo and create the same preload on the wastegate. Um, there's a, I can't get any socket or wrench. Uh, nothing quite fits in here. Even really tiny stuff. I can't get this bolt. Um, even have a really tiny socket and the piping's in the way. I just, I can't get at this. So for me to get to this one, I'm gonna have to remove or loosen these pipes uh, to be able to at least get a, get a socket in there. Um, so yeah. Now of access uh, directly, I'll go ahead and use my 10 millimeter. Safety pin. I'm going to loosen this guy. We'll remove. We won't touch that bolt. We'll replace back down, put the wastegate closed position with this nut. What we'll do is we'll take a measurement, unnecessary or unwanted movement.
We're just going to re repeat that process, uh, moving the wastegate actuator arm uh, to the new one. So we've locked our 6440 inch or 16.36 millimeters. So I'll keep adjusting. Uh, with a closed wastegate. Try to get to that uh, that preload. We'll have to loosen this again. And grab our bottom side. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the protective heat sleeving from the oil drain line. Uh, unbutton the buttons securing it. So this guy right here. We have to reuse this one. The rest are new parts out of the kit. So we've removed the oil drain line uh, from the factory CHRA. So from our AMS kit, Gonna be using two M8 bolts. They'll be going in right there. So we have to drill these two holes and remove this gasket so that these M8 bolts fit. Currently, does not fit. Now that we've drilled, well, for added clearance, we'll bend this tab over. It is not used uh, during the installation. So I just fold that against the pipe, like so. This is a 13 millimeter. Grab our 13 mils, tighten that up. And I'll locate the 4 4A in uh, line fitting out of our kit. That'll be this guy here. And we want to grab the 90 thread this and thread that dash out. 4A in line. The orientation just as seen here. Uh, so away from the wastegate towards the outlet. And another way to know uh, you're in the right orientation is we're going over this serial number plate.
And now we're going to rotate the turbo. So we're looking at the wastegate. This is the front coolant line. So we'll go ahead and get the banjo bolt, the alpha banjo bolt from our kit. Two copper washers. And the coolant line. And this guy here is uh, 17 millimeter. I'm going to line this up where it's uh, the copper washer through the banjo fitting. Copper washer. And then we'll connect this together. And we want to make sure that we are putting this behind uh, this guy here and towards the exhaust. Okay, we put this in the correct orientation. We're behind the wastegate arm. We are above and just below the wastegate, above the exhaust, and the line will be going this way. Here we go, tighten this up. In the back side of the turbo, we have our, our other coolant. We'll locate the fitting we require. This is an M14 2-A6 male adapter and one copper ring coolant. This will be installed on the back side of the CHRA. And this guy here is uh, a 19 millimeter, so go ahead and let's tighten that up. Now that we have our fitting in place, we'll go ahead and grab the dash 6 90 degree female barb, um, two barb. That's this guy right here. From a top down view, we want to actually have it rotate it where it's snug but not quite touching below the uh, bypass valve or blow off valve uh, recirculating blow off valve in this case I'm still running this stock the Mercedes Benz one and that'll be the orientation so we'll tighten this guy up and this is a 17 millimeter wrench now we'll go ahead and locate the M8 stud this guy I'll go and thread that in here Notice there's a little longer and a little longer side. We want that sticking out as it's a thick flange on the exhaust side. So we'll go ahead and thread this in. There we go. And now we'll grab the uh, oil feed uh, with O ring uh, from the kit. We'll go ahead and install this on the engine block. And this is what will be threaded uh, to this guy here. You just confirm there's your oil feed line. As we get ready to put the turbo back on, this is when most of you would put on your new coupler. If you want, it is a 60 millimeter or the two and three eighths coupler. And then uh, prep that on. I'm not gonna put this on right now. As mentioned, uh, we're gonna be replacing the, the inner cooler as well. So no need.
Make sure there's clearance. The oil drain, there's lots of clearance here. See your fitting is there. So when you disassemble the mounting bracket, uh, like so, T40 Torx, just pop out of here. It's the rest of the bracket. There's the two long bolts that go into the block of the engine. While I was struggling with that, and there's a small bracket that fits on like here, and those two spring loads uh, will attach here. Ideally, we want this somewhere in the center and then apply the, the tension on the springs. There's a T40 bolt that we originally removed that needs to slide through here. And it looks like our clearances are just too tight. I cannot get that in there. We can go to the original turbo and confirm. And you can see it slides just right through. So I'll have to do some uh, light massaging. I wish I'd found that out before installing the turbo. So for everyone out there doing this MB600 upgrade, uh, we wanna, wanna maybe check this clearance before mounting the turbo to, to make that correction. this lined up this isn't tight yet but this is tight uh, correct orientation so I use this as a, try to help me adjust where this is now we can go ahead and install evap lines we'll press these down and now we'll do the final fastening
Like I've mentioned earlier, um, the next steps for completing this turbo would be to reinstall the intake and have your ECU calibrated for such. And since I'm going to continue on with the high pressure fuel pump and the intercooler, um, you know, you'll see the replacement and how that works uh, after, after those videos. Uh, next up is the coolant. Are we going to do the lift system? What does that look like? I'm going to grab one of these kits, kits here, and I'll hook up the air compressor and uh, create that vacuum and replace the coolant uh, that we've lost and fill that up. Okay, we've mixed up our coolant. I'm doing a 50-50. Just put it in a used milk jug. We're going to put the hose right to the bottom. And we're going to create that vacuum and then uh, start replacing that fluid. It's a 45 millimeter coupler. We have our air and we should be able to... Give it some vacuum and we'll see... Uh... Start to collapse. Perfect. We're going to give vacuum one more time, air out of line. Don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe.